earth moving equipment are at work. Their harm and clang are what occurs in many parts of Enugu State. For many government officials, these are sound and rhythm of premises being fulfilled, projects to give the coal city a new face. But for traders, business owners, and residents in Ababa, Noah's axis of Enugu East local government, the clang of bulldozers is the sound of destruction of their livelihood, and they are pleading that the project's execution should be given a human face. The government came and told me that they were giving me only three days to pack out of this uh, place. Then I, was, I, I wasn't happy because I don't know where to go again. And I, I went to the market to buy so many things. And this is, I have not sold any of them. Since uh, that, that very day. This is my container, and I myself am a tenant. I'm living at the back. That bungalow there is where I'm living. So I just put this uh, container in front of my house for ants, uh, what to eat, just like that. So, but last week, some group of people now came in and said that they gave us three days to remove this container. That uh, I don't know, no much uh, explanation. They, they just gave us three days. You know, you can't fight government now. Similarly, for Daniel Okafo, the road expansion has made the relocation of his business to Enugu a wrong decision. It's no longer uh, I came back from Benue State where I, I lost uh, my business in a fire incident. So I had to come down to Enugu here and start afresh again. And I've been here for like three to four years now. And right now, we don't even know what to do. As I, am st as I stand here now, I'm, I'm crying in my heart, honestly, because where do I go, you know, to remove this container? And where do they want us to go? At least if, if there is something like that, they would have given us a period notice or maybe tell us this is where we are supposed to go. A number of Enugu residents are, however, very happy with the state government. The congested Enugu streets, drainages that never really drained the city, and road networks that did not befit the coal city should have been addressed before now. The present efforts by the state government are a welcome development. The passion that you're using to do the pump and the load, I'm, I, I, I can say that government is doing well. It's not 100%, the government is doing well. The expansion of road infrastructure in Enugu city may be a pain for some people, but as part of his campaign, for the governor of Enugu State, Peter Mba promised a comprehensive restoration of the Enugu Master Plan. That was why he was elected and the projects are a promise being fulfilled. In Enugu, I am Chinemerem Ikebuna, Signature TV News.